Now the last time that we built our RTR Spec 2 Mustang, we did it at our Riata Ford location. So this go around with the seventh generation Mustang being out, we wanted to level it up just a little bit. So we got with the guys over at RTR and we decided to build our 2024 RTR Spec 2 Mustang here live at SEMA. But I'm not gonna be doing it alone. I'm gonna be doing it with Jordan. This is tough. All right, now before we actually start building the spec two, I'm gonna have to really break down exactly what we're gonna do. So like Brian said, last time we did this at the Rihanna Ford location, but RTR is always trying to redefine the definition of performance and Leaf Johnson is our next generation dealer. So it only makes it right to do this RTR spec two on the next generation Mustang, the 2024 Mustang GT. And we're better to do it than out front in front of millions of people than the 2023 SEMA show. We are gonna be doing day one, the RTR tactile performance suspension. And on day two, we are gonna knock out the appearance package of this RTR spec two. Actually, how are we gonna get started? Do you want this front suspension or the rear? Yeah, so last time we made the mistake of doing suspension on day two after we were good and tired. Yeah, I'm gonna so that again. We're gonna knock that out first thing today. We're gonna start up front getting the shock in here. Okay. And then uh, sway bars move it onto the back and knock it out there. Cool. So let's get started. Where the tools at? Tools? I was the Andy. Yeah, yeah, they're back over here in the corner. Gear wrench hook. Oh, there. So we're ready to go. The whole tool box. Yeah, oh, right back there. <laughs> All right, let's get started. You know what? I don't know what you tell. Now I was gonna make fun of Jim, but now that you fought out, I thought three bullet loads. Oh, you can. <laughs> I was just not familiar at all. Yeah, dude, I love this next generation engine. This thing is so sick with the dual intakes. On day two, we are going to be making sure that this grill is fully functional with our new setup for our line. Oh, it does go. Yeah, we'll get into that later. Right now, we need to tack the suspension. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Yeah, we'll be here all day. I'm say if I'm limited for likely to get to the sway bars down here, but this reaches the little stuff up there. Yeah, we just gotta take off the bolts here, uh, unbolt it from the bottom there. So we're gonna be removing the brake calipers as well as the uh, rotors. And then when we go to the sway bar, this one's gonna be a little bit different because we are gonna have to move the intakes to be able to get down there. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. So yeah, um, I guess we'll just start knocking it out right now. We'll hop into the gear wrench toolbox and start knocking this out, man. Yeah, let's just start. All right, so we just finished taking out the front suspension on the Mustang, so what's next? So we're gonna start doing the front sway bars. Okay. Get that all disassembled and get the new one up in there. Okay, so once the front sway bar goes in, then we start going back in with all the front suspension, right? Yep. And then we're done. All right, and I got a nice new set of gloves, thank you. Done? <laughs> You're forgetting about the ring, man. <laughs> all right, so we're about to put in the new front sway bar, but in order to do that on this car, you gotta remove the intakes because we need the space to go down and remove the uh, bolts holding it in. Uh, so I got this side off and Jordan's finishing up that side. All right, so as we're getting ready to put in the RTR tag performance setup, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we did validation on this vehicle with Billy Johnson. He is a championship driver. He works with Ford Performance, helping the development of the Ford GT and the validation of the suspension there. We took this out to the track and we put it through all the paces, different variations, different tires to make sure that we were getting the optimal setup for all of our customers. And one thing that we were able to do is we were able to take about three seconds off of our lap times by putting on the RTR type of performance suspension with our Nitto tires. And it wasn't even the stickiest version of the tire we could get. Because you got the 555 G2s, right? Correct, yeah. And if you go up to NTO5 or NTO1, you're probably gonna knock another second off. And then the other thing I noticed is we got adjustable things where you are. Yes, exactly. You got three holes, right? Yep. So. I was going to set up stiff, soft, neutral. Yep, absolutely. But since this is going to the dealership for a customer, we're going to set it up in the neutral setting. But they have the capability of un unlocking their inner, inner Billy Johnson with this thing. <laughs> inner Billy Johnson, I like it. Now we're moving on to the rear suspension. So Jordan walk me through it. So this is gonna be similar to how it was the last time. We're gonna be putting on the adjustment sway bars. 
We're going to be putting on the rear shocks and dampeners. We do have an updated top mount that we're going to be putting onto this vehicle, trying to make it a little bit easier. So the shocks? Yes. So this part right here, let's check this out. Yep. So this is going to change. Yes. Last time we actually had to take this off yep. and swap it over. No. So we have a, a whole setup that goes to the dealer that will mount straight to this and you'll be good to go. All right. Too easy. Well, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it dialed. Feeling, uh, feeling pretty good right now. I feel like we're ahead of schedule. Uh, the first time we did this, we definitely took a lot longer. Uh, maybe it's just that we both know that it needs to get done in a matter of two days, so we're both really hustling at it. Check out the new packaging that we have for the 2024 Mustangs, dude. You guys are like surpassing Apple by a mile. Yeah, dude, this, I love this. Like the thought after it goes into this is sane. Ready? Yep. First try, I loosened it. <laughs> All right, before we get to two routings, we actually just wrapped up putting the whole car together, rear suspension, front suspension, wheels and tires. I feel good because we hit our mark today. Yeah, I think we knocked out a, a lot considering everything that's going on around us. Thank you so much for the help. I know we're both looking forward to tomorrow, but uh, I got to go over there and start tossing people some race cars. Uh, I'm going to leave you to clean up, man. <laughs> so just like he said, they're doing the ride alongs with the RTR vehicles. And here in a split second, we're actually about to go jump in them ourselves. All right, so what we're doing right now is we're wiring up our RTR intake LEDs. So as you guys might remember on the 15 to 17 and the 18 to 23, what we would do is we would plug that into the factory harness and then plug that into the back of the headlight. So they'd all be one system. Well, the people were asking if we could make this a switchback. So of course we're gonna make the people happy. So we went ahead and made this into a turn signal as well. Because of the power that draws, we do have to add a fuse to it. So we're now adding that here into the system right now so we can light up the night. Brian and I were able to finish up the appearance package here yesterday, getting on the RTR chin splitter, as well as the upper grill with the integrated LED intakes with these new turn signals. Looks amazing. Brian and I right now are laying down the graphics to finish up the looks. We're gonna get the badging on it and she will be official. Yeah, so what I'm doing here is there's this body line right here. And I wanna make sure it sits right at the very edge of where that curvature starts so that it sits in this valley nicely and just follows the flow of the whole vehicle. Um, because it just makes everything look a lot nicer doing it that way. You guys obsess over the little things, right? And that's a wrap for the build. We just finished the RTR Spec 2 kit on this 24 Mustang GT. Jordan, hit us with the points. So we went ahead and added the RTR Technical Performance suspension on there. So you have full adjustability of your shocks and your struts, as well as your sway bars. We saw that on this one, those sway bars got a little bit beefier, which is going to yeah, help a lot track. And that's how Billy was able to take those three seconds off of our lap times. Up front, we got our new chin splitter. We also have our upper and lower grills as well as our corner grills and our air intake LEDs. These things are awesome, especially too when you get the switchbacks on here for the turn signals. And then up top, we're able to get all that heat out from our new Vigor heat extractor. Graphics look awesome. I like the change. I mean, I'm a purist. I love RTR from day one. And I was like, I don't know. I like the art style that we had. A long graphic. Yes, but this is a next generation Mustang. And this is the next generation RTR. And I absolutely love how they yeah. look. Everything flows very good. And with that suspension, the stance and this wheels knock oh, it out the park. I think, you know what? I love all of our wheels. But with this color and yeah. this tech mesh wheel on the square setup of the 20s, dude, it's amazing. All right, guys, we're back here at home base, Lee Johnson Ford in Austin, Texas. 
Here's our RTR Spec 2 2024 Mustang that we built at SEMA Live. Uh, super fun experience working with the RTR Vehicles team building this thing live. It was awesome meeting all of you guys in person, answering all the questions about the car, how easy it is to install these parts. And if you guys want an RTR Spec 2 or any of the RTR parts, we can do that here in Austin. Or you can go to the RTR Vehicles website and you can order the parts yourselves. And as you guys saw, it's super easy to do at home or you can get it done at your RTR dealer. Now, it was a ton of fun, guys. Now, let me know what you think about the RTR Spec 2 package in the comments below. If you like these videos, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.